actually, I want to mention something as well. The bring the all is the whole earning thing. It's because the next episode of Assassin's Creed: The Truth, which comes out, I think, on Wednesday, it's going to be like a discussion video about bringing back Assassin Tombs. Ooh, yeah. You know, because they they're like one of the best mm. uh, types of missions to me in all the Assassin's Creed games is to have those. Because there's diversity in them. There's the chase ones. There's just the general parkour ones. Some cool stealth ones, infiltration. But they're all just interior missions that are that have different themes to them. You know, from two Brotherhood Revelations, ha- all had them in there, and each one's super different and iconic to me mm. in the games. And I think they're amazing. And with Egypt, holy fuck, the things you could Ooh, do yeah. with that. Get the fuck out of here, you know what I mean? That would like, be fantastic. How crazy would it be going into one of the pyramids and finding, like, a mummy in there, you know what I mean? Oh, that'd be amazing. It's the perfect time period to do it. Yeah. Like, it yeah. would work so well. And, like, I think, I like the ones, I think, did was it Gabe that brought this up? Yeah, I think it was Gabe. Um, Brought up those missions where you randomly go to a different, like, country and, like, place for one mission. I like those in, what were they in? Were they three, Leonardo missions? Like, yeah, the Leonardo ones, but also the ones in 3. I think it was the Peg Leg missions, where you'd randomly go different places. Oh, they were cool. I, those were cool, because they were like the tombs, but they were yeah. kind of different. Like, those were a good part of Assassin's Creed 3 as well. Yeah, actually, you're right. I forgot. I did like those. I really did. They were the, kind of the, the Assassin's Creed 3's version, because they couldn't really yeah. do, you know, the same thing in, you know, North America, because... I mean, I guess kind of the Mayan Ruins one was the best throwback to it, or even mm. there was the... Jamaican like weird mansion thing that's like the mm, doctor yeah. eats yes, a psych ward or whatever but that the, was, yeah that, that was, was a, cool you're right those were really good and even Da Vinci's flying um, like flying machine and all his um, gadgets was cool in Brotherhood so yeah those missions would be cool if you could kind of do it like and in yeah Egypt be like Tomb Raider missions kind of thing I guess we well, mm. could call them just Tomb Raids you yeah. know instead of assassination you know, tomb, assassin tombs, because that's, you know, only in, you know, two. And then the Romulus Lairs in Brotherhood, and they were the key library key missions in Revelations, and they could just be, you know, tomb raids. Yeah, and they could be and, more, like a lot. And if you do all of them, you get one special reward. An armor, yeah. You get That'd a cool, cool armor piece or something. That'd be very cool. You know, like there could be one out in the middle of the desert, and you go down like a fucking, like, oasis well or something. Mm. And it's just emptied out, and then there's just these side cave ones and those random tombs in the middle of nowhere to an actual pyramid in the middle of the city or, you know, mm. catacombs under um, Cairo. You know, there's a million ways you could think of it, and what a great way to bring that back. Mm. Oh, I think it's perfect. Like, as well, like, that encourages exploration, and if it is the Black Flag team working on it, which I'm pretty sure it is, like, they are so good at doing exploration, like they did with AC4, like, imagine giving them ancient Egypt, and they can just do whatever they want, and just make it this huge, open, explorable, like, place. It's just so cool. Why hasn't Egypt, like, I know Egypt has been on the top of everyone's list, but it's never been, like, number one, you know what I mean? Like, there's always kind of been I think one or two me. before it. Was it? I thought... Yeah, I always used to say, when everyone used to ask, oh, what, you, what location would you love? I was always like, ancient Egypt, I'd love that. That's, that was always my, like, go-to okay. place to say. Mine was always, I don't know, it was definitely up there. But for some reason, I was never like I didn't really think too deeply about every little gameplay aspect. But now that you you know we're all doing speculation videos on it, I'm like, holy Jesus, this is the greatest setting they could do that they haven't done already. Mm. In all the ways that made Assassin's Creed great. So, I mean, I'm so so excited. I'm actually so excited for Assassin's Creed again. If you know they are doing Egypt, I'm so yeah. confident they are. So. So am I. Yeah, I I want to ask actually, what what was your top like? The, if anyone asked you like what where would you like to go? I think, it, go? I think it? for some I think it was um, ancient Greece for oh, some okay. reason. But I mean I would like them to do ancient Egypt, you know, ancient Rome, ancient Greece, kind of as the trilogy. Could you imagine? Like those three settings would be unbelievable. That'd be so perfect. That would you know? that could just if they do it right, like. And imagine doing that all right. Like, the settings are perfect. If they got the exploration and gameplay down, like, with Black Flag, it would be amazing. And then imagine them managing to incorporate a really good story that just 
it just they could just do such a good job. I'm just hope they don't fuck it up. Yeah, I'm. Look, you know, we can't, we don't won't know anything, and then there's the modern day that I'm so sure now they're going to at least tr- make a third person character in the modern day because the time yeah. off and they know what we like. They know what we want. They really do know what we want from modern day. Mm. At least we want a character, and we want a actual story that's you know continuing on so yeah. the year off is just the greatest thing they could have done at this point i'm so so they're taking a year off because the amount they're going to be able to do you know we're going to get two games worth of you know upgrades to me yeah but without the rushing of the, you know yeah this is a game that was supposed to come out this year and they've got a full another year they've been told to make it and change everything they need to change Oh god, it's gonna be so good. And the black flag team are just amazing anyway. Like, the like, I'm assuming I'm just going with the fact that they're making it because they're like you know, that's that's what we all assume anyways. And it just that AC4 was so good. Like the gameplay and open world and its own little story was so good. Like it might not have been good. Someone someone commented saying like you know if you think about the in, like the games on their own without thinking about how they're attached to like the overall story. Like AC4 is actually like a fantastic game it's not like you know a great like you know assassin's creed game because it's not like a huge part of the sto- like the main assassin's creed story but it's a really good story like all of it like everything about ac4 is amazing it's a oh it's a phenomenal game absolutely uh mm. i was you mentioned the whole going to other places right and i was yeah. thinking like for a mission mm-hmm and I think you, Gabe even talked about he would like to see because when we it was brought up with the was it was I think you're right it was Gabe when you sent assassins on missions to different places to be able to play those missions. Oh yeah. Was that what he said? Something on the lines like I think it, he might have. Yeah. Instead, you get to do that. And I was thinking in ancient times, whether it's like in an ancient Greece game, an ancient Rome game, or you know an Egypt set game, getting to go to somewhere like for one mission the ruins of Troy. Or, mm. you know, Pompeii. Well, Pompeii that was, what, cool. 86 AD or something, 76 AD. So, I mean, it depends what time period it's set, whether it's after that or before that. But, you know, like there's so many historical places you could go to just for cool. Just because why the fuck not? You know what I mean? Like, who mm. cares? We can do what it we want. It would be amazing. <laughs> that would be so fantastic. I, I imagine if they incorporated that. Like, they had separate things. So, like, you've got those Tomb Raiding things. Then you've got these separate missions where... You could, if they managed to incorporate the Brotherhood again, because I'd love if they did that. I always love the Brotherhood from the Ezio games. If they somehow incorporated the Brotherhood, and yep. then you, when you do, like, uh, if you remember from Revelations, those missions where you'd, you'd go, like, uh, to assassinate a target with your Brotherhood, like, companion person. Yep. If they incorporated those into visiting other places, so you went to this other place to go with your, like, you know, buddy assassin like trainee person and then you go to assassinate this person in a new different area that's like a separate scenario just for that one mission that could be kind of cool yeah uh creed the creed just said that's a bit too ambitious i think yeah maybe like Mm. but i mean if they make it linear like they did with the leonardo missions or like the ones they did with assassin's creed 3 yeah i think they could do it like you don't have to do a full city or anything like yeah you're right like just just a a small area that looks like it's bigger than it is yeah Mm. I mean, they made Brotherhood in a year. Like, surely, with I'm sure you know they haven't been developing Empire for just the last twelve months. I'm sure it's been a, since Black Flag, since, which was yeah. 2013, Black was it? Yeah, yeah, and it's 2016, and it won't come out till 17. So for you know, surely, <laughs> surely. I mean, yeah. that I'm, I'd I'd give up those just to get things like you know Tomb Raids. In, yep. in the game, in the open world, plus a beautiful open world, like you've talked about before, oh, God, having yeah. just the Egyptian desert with small villages and oases and things like that yeah, and missions to ruined. do around. Yeah. And then you've got maybe two cities like Cairo, Alexandria, and that's mm. it. And like Havana and Kingston, they're their own section. And maybe with next gen, they could put them on the map. But I'm okay with, you know, the loading thing, you know. Well, what the, I mean? leak, actually... the leak, the leak, the leak, if we're going by the leak, the leak said there wouldn't, there's no loading times. It's, it's, they said, like, it's bigger than Black Flag and there's no loading times to see. So, I mean, if we're going to believe the leak, then I guess we need to believe all of it. So I do believe the leak, but it's also two years out. So mm. I'm just saying they could be yeah. planning that and then they're like, this isn't working. It's going to run better if it's a load. Yeah, like I don't so mind I, the load too I, much as long as the game runs better and the game's perfect. Like, why? Like, there's no point in 
trying to not make load times like just go for it if you need to do that but without them think how good that would be just like this huge open space with the cities integrated into the open space oh holy shit i mean i would you're right i would like that open space to be integrated with it all and it would be unbelievable but you know and i going by the leak i'm sure that's what they want to do i'm sure that's what the team is planning to do but doesn't mean they will be able to mm-hmm just for the reasons of, you know, they might do and be like, this is too much and maybe it's making the game glitch out more and it's just causing too many bugs and we just want it to run super smooth, so we're just going to make it separate loads. You know, that could happen, but hopefully, you're right. And yeah. the leak, and the, it does go to plan. I mean, that's the point of next gen, right? To yeah. be able to do things they've never been able to do before. And it's not like the cities are that huge, you know, in comparison to what they are in the 18th, 19th century. Yeah. So there is that. So it's not like it would be as 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 hard to do. You, but you've got things like pyramids and stuff you've got to render. So that's pretty hectic. Mm. James, think of The Witcher Three. Yeah, that's a massive open world with the cities integrated into the open world as well. So. Is it? There's no load. No, there's no load times. Only when you switch regions. So there's like several open world. How regions. big are the regions though? Massive. Like they're well, huge. Compared to Skyrim. Um. Oh God. Compared to Skyrim. Um. I'd say Velen is probably. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to make a judgment. But I, if to me it feels the same size, but I'm not sure. Like I, the whole game's say. the same size, or the different regions are the same size. I, for me, Velen, which is one region, it feels the same size as Skyrim. But then there's also That's Skellige, fucked. and there's Tucson, which they just added in the new DLC. But, but it so, might not so be. The, it might so not be as big. Are... It might just be me. But there is. are loads then, like in that you're saying. Oh that, yeah, just that... when when you switch to the region, yeah. But like there's cities within the region, so like there's one region which is one massive world, which is okay. Velen. Like that could be the game. Like they didn't need sure. animal, that could be the game. And that sure. has a bunch okay. of cities dotted throughout, and you can kind of just enter it whenever you want. Then if you want to switch to Skellige, which is like an island, it's like a separate place that feels different. It's like all cold and rainy and snowy and shit. Then you can switch to that one. That has stuff in it. Same with Tucson as well. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. Mm. Yeah, no, that that'd be awesome. I mean, I'm so excited in a for a lot of reasons of why Empire could be is a great setting to improve a lot of things and a lot of great ways they can improve the open world and with missions like going to other different places or at least those tomb raids would be amazing. I'd love to because that's just game style. I remember after Luma played Syndicate, he talked about on his walkthrough of it. One of his initial reactions was, I don't like the side missions. I, why aren't there things like the Assassin Tombs back? Like, they were so iconic. Like, every single Assassin Tomb, Romulus Lair, when you play mm-hmm. them, it, they're iconic-themed things. Like, you've got the Duomo in Florence, and then um, the Doge's um, Palace in Venice, but also... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And then you've got... All the other ones that are spread across, the one in Foley, and each mission, whether it's the place that's iconic or it's just the what you do in the mission, like you chase this guy through a tomb, or it's that really sells one, or it's a parkour one, like the one that with the oil fire in mm. uh, the start of Brotherhood, uh, with the Roman Slayer, or you, when you're under the Colosseum, and the one in Galata yeah. Tower and Revelations where you fall down this, and there's this big cavern in the middle of, underneath the city, like, mm. there's iconic missions there and they're so fun and there's a variety to them mm. i feel like the assassin's creed games for the past however long have been a really hit and miss and there's something that darby said that interested me and i, I think i brought it up before is when someone asked him about syndicate whether it's going to like continue story and stuff like that and his response was something like syndicate's a bit of fun but uh don't worry i've got something or something like that